guys, what's up? It's Natalie. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about our birth plan. I'm currently 37 weeks and we are having a baby girl. We're so excited. But I thought this would help a lot of people if they don't have a birth plan or kind of looking for a guide. What a birth plan is, is basically just like a plan when you get to the hospital or if you're having it at a birth center or wherever you're having it. Just like a little plan of what you want and kind of what you believe in. Just in case you're heavily medicated and can't speak for yourself or you forget to mention some stuff. It's kind of like a little outline of what you really want. So yeah, I know birth plans aren't for everyone and I do highly recommend one. My doctor recommended me to make one and I've seen a lot of videos on TikTok kind of mentioning what they are and what they have included in their birth plans, which I also thought was very helpful. But I'm going to stop rambling and get on with the video. For our birth plan, we basically Googled birth plan template. Kind of just gives you like a guideline of like questions that you should answer and that should be included into your birth plan. I think we got ours off of babybump.com. I, I don't know if I'm mistaken, but if I do find it, I'll put it in the down box below. So when I was about seven months pregnant, we decided to sit down and come up with this whole entire birth plan ourselves. Um, I knew kind of what I wanted, but I also wanted to be on the same page as Sam. So we sat down and got to work. So in our birth plan, we have our names at the top, our date, like when our due date is, and then our doctor and the hospital, like reading off of this. <laughs> um, and then I basically put like how I plan to have my delivery. I definitely don't want a C-section unless it's 100% necessary, then obviously for the baby's sake and my sake, I'm going to have a C-section. But as of right now, I'm not having a C-section. I also put that I want Sam, my fiance, and my mom while I deliver and after I deliver. Not all hospitals are the same. I know with COVID right now, there's so much rules and regulations on who can be in a room with you, how many people. Um, I did ask my hospital and they said I can have as many people as I want as long as it's two people in the room with me and then when those two people leave another two people can come in which is really nice so i have sam and my mom to be in the room while i deliver her and after birth that i definitely want in there i put during labor i'd like a few vaginal exams as possible i personally do agree that they are very important very necessary however if i'm like dying in pain and they just checked me like an hour or they just checked me like 20 minutes ago i don't find it necessary that they have to check me again for like the same exact outcome that's why i put that in there i wanted to wear my own clothes um i want my partner to film and take pictures of me while i'm in the room i want my partner to be present the whole time i want to be able to eat and drink anything i want as long as the doctor approves obviously i'm not gonna have like alcohol or anything but if I can have like water or literally anything, I want to be able to eat it and drink it um, as long as my doctor says it's okay. So then I also put, I also want Pitocin. I think that's how you say it, Pitocin. Basically what Pitocin is, is medicine that kind of makes your contractions a little stronger if they're not progressing which if mine aren't progressing, I don't want to be in labor for like days. That I could not even imagine. So I put that. Um, I also said I'm not opposed to an epidural. I know some people are very for epidurals and some people are not at all. I'm more like if I'm in pain and I feel like I can't do it, give me the epidural. I'm sorry, that's just my own opinion. And then I also put during delivery, I would like to use people and foot pedals for support. I did not think of this myself. This was like part of the prompts. Everything I put in here, I kind of just did off of the prompts. I didn't even know I'd have to like put that in here, but I'm happy I did. As the baby is delivered, I would like to let my partner catch the baby if possible. Like if the doctor is about to catch her coming out, I want Sam to be able to do that. Um, I know like the famous Kourtney Kardashian like pulling her baby out. I don't want to do that whatsoever. I'd rather have Sam kind of 
be the first one to like touch her. So I also put after delivery, I would like my partner to cut the umbilical cord, but only after the umbilical cord is completely drained and it's no longer that bright color. It's supposed to be completely drained, completely so she gets all of her blood and every good little cell that's in there. And then when that's all done, I want Sam to be able to cut it. Also, if I have a C-section, if I have to have one, I would like my partner Sam with me the whole entire time. I don't want to be left alone. I feel like that would be like awful if I had to be away from him. In such an intense moment in my life, like it's his daughter too, so I feel like he should be with me just in case anything happens and like sharing the moment with me as well. I also put that I want my hands free during my c-section so I can touch the baby and then I also put that I want Sam to be able to hold her as soon as she comes out after the c-section but if I have like a normal vaginal delivery I want to be able to hold her immediately after she is born just because I feel like that skin to skin is so incredibly important and I don't want to miss that time with her I just feel like I've carried her for nine months and I should be able to like hold her right away as long as there's like nothing medically wrong with her and she doesn't need to have like tubes or oxygen or anything like that. Um, I would really really want to hold her after. I am not breastfeeding and I put only formula and on schedule so basically that was one of the prompts is to have her on a schedule for formula. I'm a huge schedule person so for me I feel like when she's born to get her on a schedule like immediately with feeding it's going to help her so much so that's my plan is to have a feeding with her formula based and to have it on a schedule just so I know when she's eating how much she's eating and like the time in between I also put in the birth plan I like my baby's medical exams and procedures given with me and my partners present I do not like this was one of the main things I do not want her leaving our room at all without one of us and I put that in bold I want parental supervision at all times as after she's delivered I read articles on nurses switching babies I read this one article that the nurse who was on her deathbed switched over 90 babies like how does someone even do that anyways i'm really freaked out that's gonna happen i'm not gonna i'm not saying i don't trust nurses i definitely do i just for my sanity i want my daughter in the room with one of us the whole entire time i don't care what it is if it's her first bath i want one of us with her going off of baths i put i'd like the baby's first bath be given in mine and my partner's present. I'd like the baby to stay in my room the whole entire time. I'd like my partner to have unlimited visitations and sleep in my room. So a couple hospitals do not allow the partner to sleep in the same room as the baby and um, the mother, which I find is ridiculous. So I definitely wanted to include that as needed post delivery, please only give me extra strength Tylenol basically. I don't want to be given any hard drugs after delivering her. I want to completely just be on Tylenol if possible. After birth, I'd like to stay in the hospital as briefly as possible. I do not want to stay more than two days. I don't even want to stay two days. I would love to stay one night and then leave the next day. I think spending two nights at a hospital is kind of unnecessary unless it's like a medical emergency that the baby or the mother is like needs monitoring at all times. And then I also put for my last sentence, if the baby is not well, I'd like my partner and I to accompany her to the NICU or another facility. So God forbid something happens, something goes wrong. I want to be the one or my partner Sam to bring her down to another part of the hospital, the NICU, or if we have to leave and go to another facility, I want Sam to be with her to go. I do not want her just like leaving, you know? I definitely could add more to our birth plan, but I wanted to keep it kind of simple to the point my main priorities my main focus all on one paper i am bringing this to the hospital with me basically what's in here is finding out the gender of her her blood type my blood type sam's blood type 
um, just kind of like paperwork. When I was at the doctor's, I kept, I also kept my baby shower invitation, and then I also kept, I don't know if you guys can see this, a little tiny confetti um, at the bottom when we found out she was a girl. I also have little tabs that I can use to put her important documents in just in case I need to. I have all of my insurance information in this in the back just in case I do need it um and she's under my insurance as well so that's nice but yeah that was basically my whole entire birth plan what we're doing what we're planning on doing my due date is March 22nd I'm so excited it can't come soon enough but yeah I hope this helped you guys if you guys were thinking about doing a birth plan or you guys did not know what it, even a birth plan was um or kind of just needed like a couple of tips on what to even put in a birth plan thank you guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out all my social media and Definitely click on any of my other videos on being pregnant and kind of what my journey has been like Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys Bye.